ho, hope you're doing well. Well, this video's been kind of long in the making. I actually made the video once. It turned out to be an hour and a half long. And uh, I didn't like it. So we scrubbed it and we're starting over. As you can see in front of me, we've got a lot of different caps here. So we'll get into all this in just a minute. All right, well, through trial and error, I've came up with several different combinations of caps and powder and uh, different things. Prime all. We're going to take that off the table because we know that worked. But all these different caps, I've been trying different uh, combinations and stuff. And. Uh, it's been really a trial and error type of thing. I think I came up with the best combination. And uh, I've seen several different videos on YouTube on people doing this. But they really didn't show all of it. So that's what I was trying to do. And that's why that video is scrubbed. I will show you a couple of things here in a little bit what I found to work and I like and we're gonna go out and we're gonna do some shooting well we're gonna try to do some shooting and do some shooting because we're gonna take out I've got oh, what I got here three I got six different combinations that I worked on some worked good, some didn't work, some didn't work too good I should say, and some worked really well. So we're going to take these out, we're going to try out the combinations, but before we do that, I'm going to bring the camera around over here, I'm going to try to straddle it and focus in so you could see exactly what I was doing, how these went together. So. We'll get into that in just a second. All right, well, here I got the caps. And when you hear me talk about stars, those are the little stars right there. Here's the homemade percussion caps. Or the containers for them, I guess you'd call it. Now what I was doing is taking a matchstick. It's kind of wetting the tip of it a little bit trying to hold these with the tweezers and then take one of these little stars and put it down inside there just like that I don't know if I can focus in on that or not but anyway the stars I went with because they kind of grip the edges of the cap in there and they will not fall out I've tried that one's not quite down in there good there we go I tried to knock them out and they won't come out so when you hear me talk about the stars that's what I did now on some of them I put one of these little dots under there and then a star on top because the dots will come, fall right out and other ones I just took two stars and pushed them Oop, that one didn't, there we go didn't go down there. the reason I went with the stars other than just a circle is for one those little points when they go down in there they'll catch the edge and I didn't want all that extra paper in there and I hope that's focusing good enough Anyway, when you punch them out, that's what they'll look like. Kind of like that. And here's the punches I used. Here's the little round one. And I'm not sure how well this camera's picking this up. I hope you can see that. 
but you have to take put that cap right underneath there just so it's right in that punch it out and you got one of those little dots okay and then on some other caps what I did was and these are the ones that I believe work the best and one of my viewers mentioned it and I've also seen it on a couple of other videos is take one of the stars put it down in there then take a couple granules of black powder just a few little tiny granules of 3F drop it in there and then put another star on top so but I've got a couple other combinations that we worked on I just wanted to show you the stars I will put a link to these hole punchers now this is the star one if you notice how it's all silver in there I suggest taking and marking that all side of the hole in it. I suggest taking and marking that in there with a black um, permanent marker like I did on this one because if not you're trying to shine light in there and to see how to get this lined up you get that light shining back from the edges and stuff and, oh, and I don't know if you saw that but that's something you got to watch out for they will go off occasionally so when you're doing this, don't be doing it around your black powder. There's a good star right there. Anyway, let's get outside and try out these different combinations and show you the ones that work pretty good, the ones that don't work so good, and I got one that I haven't tried yet. So I think that's the one we're gonna try first. So let me shut this off, take you outside, and we'll get right to it okay well we're outside I loaded up the 1851 with uh, I'm only using about 10 grains of powder and I did put a wonder wad in there um, we're not shooting for any kind of accuracy or anything we just want to see if these caps are gonna detonate the powder and are viable for usage now the first thing I'm gonna do is I've got just hopefully you can see that just some of the little yellow and uh, red caps that you buy in the store the first three I'm gonna try are gonna be the little yellow ones the next three are gonna be the little red ones and yes I did break my code I did load six rounds in here because we are gonna be trying three of each shot so let me get these caps on and we'll see how they do. All right, well the first three shots are those little yellow ones. Just by themselves, there's just those little toy caps. Let's see if we can get any of them to work. Nope. Okay, the little yellow ones, toy caps by themselves, don't work. The next three are the red caps. Okay, now we know the toy caps by themselves will not do anything. Now let's try some of the caps we made. Get right back to you. Okay, now we got three caps. 
caps with just the stars in them. See how those work. You have three. Not bad. Okay, that was just with two of the stars. Now, let me load this back up. Get right back to you. Okay, now these three are the ones where I put a star in, put a few grains, not a grains, a few granules of black powder, and then seeded another one of those stars on top. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it helps if you put it down on one of the ones with the cap on it. Okay, one failure. Two failures. get right back to you okay now these ones what I did was I took the little powdered disc there's like a little disc inside the uh, inside those red uh, toy caps and so what I did was I took one of those discs out stuck it in there and then held it in with one of the uh, stars and I've got two caps well I've got two loaded silk chambers left so let's see how those do Okay, so this last one, what it is, is one of those little red dots, paper cap, that I punched out along with a star. Let's see how this does. Not so good. All right, now this is the one that I think works the best. And it was the little star, some gunpowder, and another little star. I've only got one cylinder left to fire off. Let's see if it's a dud or if it works. set off the alarm on my bike <laughs> anyway if you're gonna be making your own caps you gotta find out what works best for you the ones I found out that work best are the ones with the that I put the star in the powder and then the other star on top we'll uh, catch you back inside and finish this up I hope you got something out of it most of them most of the combinations worked somewhat but the best is the star powder star. So anyway, we'll catch you back inside in just a minute. All right, well, we kind of saw what worked and what didn't somewhat. 
Now we know none of these caps work by themselves. We did have somewhat luck using two of those stars from the paper caps by themselves and uh, a couple other combinations. But overall, the best combination is put a paper cap in, put a few granules of black powder. I'm using triple seven. <clears throat> and uh, then another one of the star caps on top of it. Um, you'll have to play around with it. Uh, I think if I can get the percussion cap the metal piece to form a little better and a flat bottom on it these are kind of rounded a little bit I think if we can get the metal cap uh, looking a little bit more like a regular cap rather than that rounded bottom on them that uh, they'll work a lot better also so anyway I hope you enjoyed it hope you got a little bit out of it like I said the best one I came up with was the two paper stars with a, a few grains of black powder in between there. So, Please, if you got anything from this, hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoyed watching this, hit that thumbs up button. It helps us come up in the rankings. So, um, Please, if you have any comments or questions, put them down below and I will answer them. Until next time. Stay prepared. Thank you for watching.